Surrey Cruise looks just like mum Katie Holmes as they introduce Taylor Swift on stage at Jingle Ball. Katie Holmes and daughter Surrey Cruise surprised fans by introducing Taylor Swift at the Jingle Ball, the 38-year-old actress and her 11-year-old daughter, who she has with ex-husband Tom Cruise, held hands as they took to the stage at the Z100 New York Sci Heart Radio concert at Madison Square Garden in New York City on Friday. She's one of our favorite performers and who is it tonight? Katie said of the headline act, before Surrey enthusiastically yelled, Taylor Swift, an onlooker told People that Surrey, who was wearing a star pattern dress with a big red bow in her hair, was so excited she clapped while waiting at the side of the stage. Katie and the Shake It Off It maker previously worked together on the 2014 movie The Giver. Taylor, 27 performed tracks from her new album Reputation. The singer surprised fans yet again by bringing out fellow Jingle Ball performer and best friend Ed Sheeran to play their new track and game. New York you were amazing, thanks Z100, what a night, Taylor captioned the shot of her on stage in New York on Instagram. Her performance comes just days after she opened up about the sexual assault incident involving radio DJ David Mueller, who groped her during a backstage meeting in 2013. Adamant she was not going to be blamed for what happened, she knew it was important to tell her story, despite the negative criticism she received during the trial, because she didn't want another young, vulnerable star to go through the same experience. At the time, I was headlining a major arena tour and there were a number of people in the room that saw this, plus a photo of it happening, she told Time magazine. I figured that if he would be brazen enough to assault me under these risky circumstances and high stakes, Imagine what he might do to a vulnerable, young artist if given the chance. It was important to report the incident to his radio station because I felt like they needed to know. The radio station conducted its own investigation and fired him. Two years later, he sued me.